Yeah, bud. Sit. You can't Ready? teach an old dog new tricks, the saying goes. Go find it. Unless you give that dog a computer. Good boy. <laughs> Up here is a computer called the BeagleBone Black, and that is a full Linux system. We can, uh, it's a platform that we can change for whatever the purposes we want. Meet Diesel, who's wearing this computerized harness designed at North Carolina State University. It required expertise from electrical engineering, veterinary medicine, and computer science. The computer scientist is David Roberts, Diesel's owner and avowed dog lover who conducted research into dog behavior. I was a new faculty member at NC State looking to start up a new research program uh, and I was uh, in new faculty orientation where I met uh, Dr. Boskert and uh, discovered that he had a set of expertise that would be an incredible complement to my interests in this project. That would be Alper Boskert who created a biological robot or biobot attaching computerized backpacks to Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They're designed to head into rubble after an earthquake or explosion to search for survivors. In fact, Disney asked Bosker to help them design a backpack for the world-saving guinea pigs and their surveillance houseflies in the movie G-Force. Come on, come on, it's not working. Name's Bond, never had these problems. But it was actually Disney's movie, Up, that gave Bosker the inspiration for his dog harness. He is a good and smart master, and he made me this collar so that I may talk. Can we keep him, please, please, please? No. But it's a talking dog! A talking dog. Boskert wanted to use his engineering and computer knowledge to find a way for dogs to communicate. He says turning them into biobots is much easier than cockroaches. It's much easier to work with them. You can train them, you can communicate with them. And when I met uh, Dr. Roberts, we started to talk about it and this all came together really well. Boskert and Roberts recruited College of Veterinary Medicine Dr. Barbara Sherman to help them design sensors to monitor the dog, including the dog's heart and breathing rates. For example, if a dog is working in a very hot environment, we'd want to know if the dog was beginning to overheat. And we could call the dog back and hydrate it and give it a rest period. And it even uses smartphone technology, delivering a vibration, like when your phone rings in your pocket. Dogs can be trained to halt or return home when they feel it. And the technology can also determine if the dog is standing or sitting. When you rotate your smartphone, the screen rotates with it. So we use the very same technology, put it on the dog, and uh, using the uh, changes in the body position, we can try to understand the behavior remotely. So why is that information useful? Well, say you send a dog Ready? out to find a Go lost on. person. When the dog finds them, it's trained to sit and that alerts the handlers that the mission is accomplished. We also have a speaker on the harness which enables us to send audio back to the dogs. Uh, so we can actually send text messages that will get um, verbalized via the harness. So you can imagine a dog coming up to you if you were lost in the woods and a little uh, speaker that says, we found you, we are on the way. <laughs> Every dog has its day, right? Well, Diesel's day was June 11th, 2014. That's when he and the rest of the team got to put on the dog at the Smart America Challenge in Washington, D.C. The challenge is sponsored by the White House Office of Science and Technology. It's all about something called the Internet of Things, connecting everyday things through the Internet and in turn creating cyber physical systems like Diesel and his computer. Out of 28 teams, they were one of only four selected to visit the White House, as well as show off their invention the next day. Did Diesel get to demonstrate? Diesel did get to demonstrate it. So Diesel uh, um, uh, got to go to Washington, D.C. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't get to go to the White House. The so Secret Service had something to say about that. But uh, he did get to participate in an expo at the D.C. Convention Center, uh, and Diesel got to, got to um, do his thing. There's right now no efficient uh, technology out there uh, that can help uh, search and rescue trainers. The most complicated technology that we have is the uh, walkie-talkies and the dogs. 
Rescue dogs are trained to go into places that humans can't. Many were used to find survivors buried in the wreckage of 9-11. With this harness, emergency personnel okay. can send a dog in without having to keep Free. a dog on a leash or in sight. You can also add a sensor to detect a natural gas leak or radiation. And since they can talk to the dog through the microphone or send it vibration signals, they can immediately call it home if the dog is heading into harm's way. There's a huge amount of information that we can collect from the dog and also send back to the dog and tell the dog to go left or right or come back. They hope to one day shrink this down to fit on a dog collar and allow pet owners a new way to train their dogs. Not with punishment like a choke collar, but positive reinforcement. Uh, we are trying to give people the capability to use computers when they uh, train their dogs and uh, use only positive reinforcement. I really hope that this technology represents a paradigm shift in improving and increasing and augmenting the already amazing relationships that we have with the, the, these animals. <laughs> that special relationship between a human and a dog. It's been going on for thousands of years. And this harness is designed not to replace that, but make it better. For instance, if a seeing eye dog senses danger, a monitor could detect his anxiety and relay that to the human, say through a vibrating attachment on the leash. Even could be, um, like in a certain, some environments would, might be monitored by someone externally. For example, someone living alone that might need uh, the dog to alert that something's wrong. <laughs> How many of us would love to know what our pets are thinking? These researchers don't have a talking dog collar yet, but what they do have is an innovative way to communicate with dogs that just may revolutionize the relationship with man's best friend. You get your yes. computer, you put a harness on your dog, and then uh, you basically uh, use computers uh, to uh, bridge uh, the gap between the human intelligence and the dog intelligence. And uh, uh, what we would call a cyber enhanced working dog is really um, a fantastic example of a, of a cyber physical system. So one of our goals, I think, is to try to think like a dog and figure out, um, given the abilities of dogs, how we can um, find ways that they can communicate what they know about their environment. So you can really talk to the animals. Well, that's our goal, yes. <laughs>